seven-year-old Vera is safe and play music again. She fled eastern Ukraine in March with her mother, sister and brother Gleb. His recorder was all he brought with him, apart from his favourite book and a Swiss army knife. It was a very difficult journey. When we got on the train, we couldn't open the windows or turn on the light. It was dark and stuffy. Miroslava also had a tough journey to get here. Now I can't imagine life without music because uh, it's uh, like the biggest part of my life. When the war started, I wasn't able to play because uh, we were too scared, we were waiting for the sirens. So when the chance came to escape to Slovenia, she grabbed it. She's one of more than 80 young musicians brought out, mostly teenage girls. The older boys had to stay behind. As a musician, I, you know, I can't go with a gun and fight and or do something, but I can uh, like play my music and uh, share it, uh, share my voice with uh, the world. So that's what I'm doing here. A rehearsal with the woman who, with her husband, orchestrated their escape. Shiva Ploipashu is one of Slovenia's best-known conductors. She says the operation to get the young musicians out and settled here was like conducting a performance in its complexity. But when the war began, she felt compelled to do something. Uh, I have a son, uh, he's seven years old. I cannot imagine myself uh, hopping uh, on, on the train with him, with one plastic bag, maybe teddy bear, uh, phone, uh, documents, and that's, that's it. That's what best friends Anya and Magdalena had to do. They're from Kharkiv, and both of their fathers are still there. We were in a bomb shelter with my family for 10 days. The only thing we wanted was to stay alive. When we got here, we started playing music again and develop our skills, and that means a lot to us. Magdalena never thought for a moment of leaving her cello behind. It's really like part of my body, I, I guess. So. It's always with me, <laughs> I think, wherever I go. Music uh, is healing, really, and I feel it now. For some people, uh, yeah, it's hitting, punch back. And after that, you feel better. But for me, it's really, it's music. It's healing for the younger children too, here rehearsing a song to perform for Slovenia's president. When I'm singing, I feel light inside. And music for me is the best friend. None of them know when they'll be going home, but for now, they have a job to do as musical ambassadors for Ukraine. Caroline Hawley, BBC News, Ljubljana, Slovenia. <laughs>